Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and a very good afternoon to all. Apa khabar semuanya? I hope that you are well and staying safe. And I certainly hope that you had a good lunch just now. Welcome to CDA, CDAE's webinar, Metaverse in Post-Pandemic Education. Satu tajuk yang saya kira sangat menarik yang akan dikupas oleh dua penceramah kita petang ini. My name is Nurliza and thank you for coming and hope that you will stay till the end. Please allow me to introduce our first speaker from University Kebangsaan Malaysia, Technologies Dr. Muhammad Hilmi Norman. Dr. Hilmi, apa kabar orang UKM? Baik, Alhamdulillah. Dr. Alhamdulillah, saya apa Nurliza. Okay, Alright, thank you Puan. Uh, no problem, terima kasih. Selamat datang ke sini, ya Dr. Hilmi. Uh, terlebih dahulu mohon maaf daripada kami kerana Prof Karim tidak dapat bersama-sama dalam webinar petang ni. Uh, Dr Hilmi, your slot is until about um, 3.20 pm if I'm not mistaken. Then we can take questions from the participants. But of course, if the partic participants have any burning question, they can feel free to interject anytime. Boleh kan Dr Hilmi? Ah, boleh, okay. boleh. Sure. Okay, baik. Dr Muhammad Hilmi Norman, a certified professional technologist from the Malaysia, of the Malaysian Board of Technologies is currently the Deputy Director of Teaching Innovation and Learning Technologies for the Center of Teaching and Curriculum Development, UKM. He is also an, an Assistant Professor at the Department of Teaching and Learning Innovations, Faculty of Education. His field of interest is digital and futuristic education. Dr. Hilmi is an Apple Distinguished Educator and Apple Professional Learning Specialist where he is involved in national projects for primary, secondary and higher education in promoting one-to-one -one pedagogical and learning approaches using the Apple ecosystem. He is an advocate and influencer in both national and global landscapes where he coached digital inter integration for medical and healthcare staff in Bangkok, Thailand in collaboration with medical experts from across Europe and Asia. Begitulah secara ringkasnya bagi data penceramah kita. So dengan ini saya mempersilakan Dr. Muhammad Hilmi Norman. Dipersilakan Dr. Hilmi. Uh, hi, uh, Puan. Um, uh, Chua Kiman macam mana? Por, uh, Encik Chua Kiman, dia punya session macam mana? Sorry, uh, you're muted. Sorry. Uh, after your session, about 50 minutes, then we have a Q&A. And then we'll take uh, maybe 10 minutes break. Lepas tu kita sambung dengan Mr. Chua Kiman. Maybe I I would say about 3.35, depending lah on the, on the questions that we receive after your session. Latest by 3.45, I suppose. So that we can have one hour of Mr. Chuakiman also. Okay, boleh? Boleh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> apa yang Prof Karim? <laughs> so, yeah. I, I just, uh, apa mana, uh, sebab Prof Karim, apa yang uh, dia cakap, uh, this is like a macam talk show. So, yes. uh, uh, so maybe uh, let's, uh, let's wing it lah. Uh, apa mm. Mr. Chuakiman, I think... Uh, let's let's make it a talk show uh, with two of us. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. I, uh, to be frank, I don't have any slides. Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about metaverse and and if uh, mm. maybe Mr. Chuakiman did ask you can slide ke, maybe yeah. he can share his slides. But mm. yeah, I mean, um, let's kick it off from there. Maybe I ganti Prof Karim ke sekejap. Uh, I, I interview <laughs> Chuakiman. Can <laughs> Mr. Chuakiman? Okay, I boleh. Don't can. Want to hear me, <laughs> Silakan Dr. Hilmi sebab I have no idea what's it, whatsoever on Metaverse. So, <laughs> I just, saya macam so, pun yeah. macam, biar macam yeah. kita terjun juga petang ni sikit sebenarnya. So, okay, sikit. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, Puan Nuliza. Uh, uh, so, yes. tak apa. Uh, Puan Nuliza uh, dah moderator. Saya uh, bidang terjun Puan Nuliza. Saya ambil tugas yes. Prof. Karim. So, kita. Yes. Thank you very much. Terima kasih petang ni sebab uh, thank you everybody. Uh, dah nampak 71 orang kat sini. Oh, awesome. Everybody's here. Uh, I think everybody knows, uh, maybe uh, Puan Nulizan uh, perkenalkan uh, Mr. Chua Kiman dulu yeah. and then baru I kick off. All right, awesome. Silakan. Okay. No problem, thank you. Okay, Mr. Chua Kiman from University Malaysia Sarawak. Terima kasih Mr. Chua kerana tak jemu-jemu memenuhi undangan kami. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Chua Kiman is a senior lecturer at the Faculty of Language and Communication. He is passionate about educational technology, e-learning and the science of learning. 
His primary skills are related to learning design and development, virtual reality, web and app development, computational linguistics, and communication. He is very active in ad tech innovation, assistive assistive technology and innovation solutions for equitable and quality education. His innovations have won, have also won awards both locally and globally. On top of that, Mr. Chua has over 10 years of experience in training, particularly in the area of e-learning, pedagogies, academic writing, design thinking, copywriting and content creation. So without further delay, I welcome Mr. Chua Kiman and Dr. Hilmi, please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. All right. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Puan Noriza. Uh, Tiba-tiba saya jadi crash um, uh, bidang terjun moderator. <laughs> eh, tak apa. <laughs> eh, I'm <laughs> moderator and also uh, it's my thoughts. Lah, eh. All right. Okay. So uh, Mr. Chua Kiman ni very, 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 very uh, apa, uh, awesome. Lah. Uh, I think he's a great experience uh, uh, talks talk person uh, so we will be great to hear him uh, kick off the session uh, so yeah let's kick off with you uh, metaverse and then i'll just uh, add on to the discussion and we'll let it flow on uh, free flow session uh sambil uh, apa prof prof, uh, prof karim is not here uh the uh, mungkin uh, uh, busy ataupun uh, yeah no problem okay uh mr chua silakan so you want okay. uh, how do you want the session to do you want me to kita, uh, kita gila-gila we take turn lah kan okay. uh, ah, yeah yeah awesome, awesome. yeah cool because, because um itulah i pun macam this morning baru dapat info the format changes a bit and then i quickly scramble some things lah because i thought you would you were more to like question and answer kind of style macam yang dr hemi cakap tadi lah sepatutnya uh, forum like lah but anyhow since we we need to keep the show going <laughs> so i managed to kind of scramble so along the way i think i will probably stop a while and then i'll pass to tell me to tambah and all that lah. the the idea was i would be probably cover more on the um social science and the humanity sides and then he me could uh, dr Hume could be covering more on dr Norman could be covering more on the science and technology or engineering side like the sciences are the stem i mean according to what uh, was was you know transpired between us and uh, Prof Karim before this lah but anyhow let's see how it goes but I think before we kick start it's good to actually kind of recap maybe maybe to to learn a bit on what is known by metaverse so I, I'm going to start that ball rolling by maybe I'll just share my screen ni pun scramble bagi tadi ni tak tahulah masak ke tak <laughs> okay all right okay uh just a quick one on this one this one no need let me just go straight yeah, the beginning. I think we all kind of get really excited about Metaverse of late because of Facebook or the company uh, kind of change the uh, the name to Meta, right? I think we suddenly become very, uh, suddenly everyone is talking about Metaverse, lah, right, in a way. But I think we know that the buzzword for, for virtual reality or VR has been around for quite some time. And uh, if you if you have kind of followed the development of virtual reality in your work. And then you probably heard of this name, Jaron Lanier, who is, who is the, basically the, the father of VR, lah, right? And uh, he was the one who started a company that sell headset a long time ago. I think it was like 1985, which, which is about close to four decades, 40 years ago. So he was the one who kind of promote the use of virtual reality in, in many areas, but mostly uh, in in the commercial world and in also the gaming world, uh, not so much in education lah. So, but the bottom line of VR is like our craze in science fiction, you know, movies and all that is to to enhance our virtual presence like All this back then, I think we were already obsessed with Star Wars, Star Trek, and all this kind of uh, fantasy that we are we want to be there, right? We want to be in in that kind of presence. So I think the v virtual reality and augmented reality becomes uh, in game. Be and in thing because of that. Then, I mean, just in case you are wondering how he looks like, this is uh, Jan Lenya. If you, unfortunately, if you kind of read his newer books, right, and then you will realize that he is now against VR and uh, he is now against AR due to what he sees as the threat, or they call it, I think because of social media and all that, suddenly people are trying to go against it. But anyhow, I mean, he was the one who started it off, but he's the one who is all trying to kill it off <laughs> in, in, in a way, right? So, 
Yeah, just in case you're wondering, uh, the beginning or the origin of the word metaverse is not coined by Facebook, uh, and the word is not even capitalized in a way like metaverse is a generic or common noun lah. Not it, it's not a as as it's not an exclusive term for Facebook or the Meta company. It's a it's a very generic word being used, and the first person to actually use it publicly is this one lah. Uh, Neil Stephenson it's, uh, in the novel called Snow Crash. It's a very nice novel to read. Uh, it's like a fantasy digital world where what we're talking about now, lah, which is the the metaverse that we're talking about, where you can be anyone and then you log into this world and then you become somebody else. So that's the concept of uh, what we are trying to have. And it was like way back in early 90s. And because of this inspiration, many companies actually try to create their own metaverse. And uh, uh, Ernest Klein, for example, if you have watched the movie Ready Player One or you have read the book Ready Player One, this is another instance of metaverse where you are in a physical bit, you know, uh, self and then you log in to a virtual world where you are engaging with all the people in the world, you know, like, uh, how to put it? Much, um, we we trans transform into a different self, all right, in a different world. And you can be anyone in that world. Uh, and if you have watched this movie, then you will probably get the essence. The new, the new book, Ready Player Two, has uh, was out last year, so you might want to read that up as well. But I think the craze of this metaverse has been around for quite some time. But Facebook made it popular, and uh, because of um, you know Mark Zuckerberg craze of even rebranding the company into Meta, I think uh, I don't know. I personally think it's a bad move, but let's see how it goes later. But if you remember Second Life, those of you who are into virtual reality and augmented reality and whatnot, you probably have heard of Second Life. It's to me the beginning of um, how to put it, the beginning of uh, uh, metaverse, <laughs> because. I think back then everyone was so crazy about Second Life and all the universities were trying to uh, create their own virtual university. If you go to Second Life now, there are quite a number of uh, virtual universities inside, including all these physical universities who tried to, you know, uh, simulate themselves into Second Life. But of course, it's, it's still very avatar-like and very, uh, you know, cartoon-like, game-like, and people don't really... Uh, like it because of that reason you know it feels like you are just playing games and if uh, if you're playing the sims then uh, you know that kind of thing was replicated in in the gaming world as well to me the gaming the gaming world spurs the the growth in a way in fact the current technology that we use for the metaverse in many many aspects uh, came from the gaming world because of how they distribute the network and all that uh, the, the two classic example here is roblox and minecraft these two to me um are like the the uh, kind of like uh, the the child version of metaverse, even though it, it looks like childlike, but the the tools that you have for Roblox and Minecraft uh, are really useful to create your own virtual world. The 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 key thing about um, uh, metaverse is like you are not alone. And last time, if you were to play game, you are kind of like playing alone. And even if it's multiplayer, it's like one to one and not really distributed in a way like the other person could not really interfere with your world or could not really add things to the world. Um, if like, it's like we play, for example, if we play a game, I just connect to you, for example, play a chess, and then you are just moving your, your things and that's it. You are not really interacting with the world itself. But the metaverse is different. Everyone can contribute to different things and you can kind of interfere with the whole flow. Like um, another good example would be Fortnite. If you ask your students, a lot of them are playing Fortnite where they can create their own world and each world can can interact with each other and you can form your teams and all that. All these are, are the, the kind of like the the example of what we know as the metaverse, you know, like where everything is combined and all that. Of course, Facebook make it happen because of the, uh, the rebranding that happened last year. And you might have heard of metaverse itself, but uh, Facebook or Meta didn't really call it Metaverse, it's called Horizon, and Horizon Worlds contain many things. You have you have a Horizon for gaming, a Horizon for workplaces, and, and, and many, many types of communities. So if you if you were to have the time to to just Google up, you'll be a, you'll be um, you know you'll be able to see the link, Tapi. You are not allowed to experience it. It's I think so far it's only really available in the US and Canada, not really open up to everyone. Even though you can log in, you can only play certain 
certain games uh, and you're not able to fully utilize it uh, yet. Yes. And, and you, you know, this, this is another instance of uh, Facebook metaverse when it comes to horizon for workplace, you can see how Facebook is trying to kind of make your virtual environment even more livelier where you can see everyone uh, and kind of not really your real self it's like a, your avatar which could you know could be totally different from your your physical self and you need this thing called this all this headgear or oculus uh, this is the, the the oculus quest 2 there are many version of of these tools but this is the the one that they normally recommend because it also detect your uh, your hand movement and also you can navigate using your hand without even relying on the uh, you know like touching the the headgear and all that so this is one example uh, and of course, they have many versions uh, of of this, and you don't need you don't need smartphone for this one. It's plug and play, right? So this is another example, just in case people are using uh, the current version of Horizon for different purposes. They even have this thing like whiteboarding and all that. So if you imagine it's a if it's a for teaching and learning purposes, then you can say like it's. It's more or less like a virtual classroom where everyone can gather, just that you get to see all this avatar moving around, which are, which is already happening in in some platform, right? This thing is the one that people are talking about, like uh, creating a bus, like uh, you know, like all this, uh, all this uh, in hologram, hologram like, and also AR like kind of thing. I think this is the craze now, but I put here. Uh, it says promise are not here yet. If you pay attention to what. Mark Zuckerberg mentioned last year, a lot of what he claimed uh, the Facebook metaverse or the horizon could do are actually simulation. You can even see in the video itself, if you go back to all the launching video, everything has the word simulation footage. It means these are not real yet. This is, this is, these are all imagine kind of features, but we know that the craze for this has been there for so many years, right? Those who are involved in mixed reality, augmented reality will know that these are the one that we are aiming for, where you can actually project somebody in front of you or even like what, like here, like all those things that you watch on Marvel movies where you can just shoot your screen and then you can touch without having that thing being in front of you and, and that kind of thing. These are all simulation, not here yet because it requires a lot of, I think it requires a lot of uh, adjustment to the devices itself. Like if you see the, uh, if you see the head gate itself, so, it's so uh, bulky and all that, right? How on earth are you going to sustain that kind of, uh, like, let's say if you have a two hour meeting, how are you going to wear that for two hours? And you know, that, that kind of, that kind of issue. But anyhow, these are all the promises, which I think everyone is looking forward to. And um, yeah, but, but I, the, the thing about what I'm trying to do now is to let you know that metaverse is not an exclusive term for Facebook. So anything which is a virtual world containing, you know, containing, uh, elements of uh, interaction and also uh, seamless uh, distribution of asset or digital asset and all that are, are, are the features of a metaverse. So this is another example, which is emerging. You can actually uh, search through metaverse school. Uh, inside you have a lot of uh, like a virtual world for different purposes, for labs, for teaching. And all. I think some of you may have seen some of these examples where they are all in isolation, which is only one-to-one -one kind of usage. Uh, but when you call it as a metaverse, it means everyone can come in and you can see everyone like like what you see your students are doing in Roblox or Minecraft where everyone can come in and uh, and contribute to the whole world. So my summary for this part before I pass to Dr. Hilmi would be the metaverse component to me are uh, basically three things. The first one, you need the virtual world and uh, the development over the 30 years, I think we have seen the first part is being enhanced. Last time, maybe it's not as immersive as now. Now you get to experience more immersiveness because of the graphic. The graphics are getting better and you don't need long, you know, uh, you need to, you don't have to spend so much on like high end PC or you don't have to even spend too long downloading all the asset to, to do the rendering. It's quite fast now. And of course you, you, you can do customization and creation. You can customize your, your virtual world. I think this is the, kind of like the, the appeal factor now as compared to what happened 30 years ago. Social features, which is a very uh, nice addition to the virtual world. If you combined virtual worlds, you know, all this independent or solo kind of virtual world with social features, 
you have all these lifelike interaction behaviors, emotional features that eat add on to this metaverse uh, kind of experience because you need this to make it, um, you know, more, more lifelike or else it will be just uh, any other uh, virtual world that we have, you know, before the existing of uh, metaverse. But what is emerging now is what we call as uh, digital assets. I think this is really the in thing now. You have cryptocurrencies, uh, non-fungible tokens, and NFTs, multi-platform transaction and uh, interoperability, meaning you can operate multi through multiple devices, and then you have decentralized storage. Last time, if you want to develop a virtual world before the concept of metaverse, it's like you store in your computer and then you have to share it to the rest of the world. And that, that computer that you're using to share has to be very powerful. In, in accommodating different downloading or uploading kind of bandwidth and network access and whatnot. But now, because of this concept of blockchain technology and an emerging uh, trend of all these cryptocurrencies, uh, you, the metaverse has evolved into like, you don't own that thing alone. Everyone is owning a piece of that world, right? And uh, like, if you enter a world, probably your computer is only storing that tree, right? But you, uh, your friends are storing different, different assets in that world. Everyone is like sharing. It's like this, this thing called um, similar to the cloud distribution network kind of approach where one single file is not stored in one place. It's distributed across the whole world and it makes the speed faster. And then, oh, of course, it, it needs a lot of high level security. So not everyone can own it, which means if you suddenly your computer died at that time, the world can still run because it's also stored in other places. I think that is the kind of beauty of metaverse now. And of course, now people are so crazy about NFT. Um, you you can actually create assets in the met metaverse and sell. So I think what what the commercial world is doing on it is to capitalize on this. Actually, why the commercial worlds are go getting crazy about this? You know, Microsoft, um, Facebook, and all these all these companies are crazy about metaverse is because they know that there is a potential to earn money out of this. Uh, this world, but of course, in our context today, we will be focusing more on the teaching and learning part, lah, which uh, later on, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Helmi and I will be sharing further. Just in case you are in interested, uh, these are the two major platforms for digital asset where you have the central land and uh, this thing called sandbox. So you can use these two, it's free, available for free. You can download it and then create your own virtual. What happened is like this one, the central land is quite unique in a way. You don't own a land in the world. Everyone buy a land. You have a virtual, like you much have other asset online where you own a piece of land in the metaverse and you can sell your land, right? And somebody, I think, was it Snoop Dogg who just sell his land on this, the central land uh, to Microsoft, I think, something like that. So you can own like a virtual land right so this is the crazy thing that is happening when it comes to the metaverse uh, and uh, you might wonder how all these things will be impacting our education system or the, our teaching and learning okay i'm going to pass to the well, me to add before i go further let me just stop sharing first okay now nah. yeah so to hear me <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> okay thank you uh yeah uh, mr chua I panggil Kiman je lah eh. Susah oh, boleh, lah. Boleh, boleh. Panggil Kiman je lah. Panggil Kiman je lah. Senang lah, susah lah. Dote, apa lah kan? Helmi je, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, awesome uh, on the, you know, um, the kicking off of uh, what is actually Metaverse. And, um, uh, and you know, showing some examples of Metaverse. Okay, uh, I pun baru cook. Ni dua minit yang lalu, I cook. Okay, so. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, Uh, Chua Kiman dia, Kiman dia ada ni apa, dia orang beritahu awal, I baru tahu 2-3 minit tadi. Uh, <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, yeah. uh, so, I just cooked it, this up a little bit and so for for me, eh, Metaverse is actually a merging of uh, three worlds. Um, biasanya kita cakap pasal, you know, the physical world, the digital world and the biological world. So, so how... Um, <clears throat> Um, but we, we talk we talk about 4IR and uh, fourth industrial revolution these technologies now metaverse lah uh, there's a lot of you know jumbling up of of this world the uh, you know we we live in the you know pandemic before this and so pre pandemic mostly physical yeah a lot of digital but actually supporting us then moving to suddenly no physical contact tak boleh dah 
sitting at home and then suddenly everything becomes digital, right? Our universities go digital, schools go digital, everything, shopping, digital, suddenly. And then now we're moving, um, you know, back to endemic. So it's like a mix of this physical, digital, and also the biological world. The, you know, we have the, uh, you know, the Apple watches, the, the you know, the Garmin, kind of, you have the, you know, all these technologies um, there with you. But how do we use this? for education. We kind of lost you, but they hear me. Are you still there? Oops. They hear me. Terputus nampaknya, they hear me. Kita tunggu sebentar kot. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we kind of lost you. Can't see you and yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Still, still not so okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Sorry again. Money uh, ada. I have a problem, so I'll just use my lah. Mati je. Uh, I punya. It's a bad day, very bad. <laughs> oh, okay. And I hope okay. The, no, but... the internet is not too bad. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, um. Yeah. So, oh here. Yeah, better now, but you're still waiting for your content. It's like bad. Eh? Yeah, anyway, so it's okay lah. Um, I'll just stop sharing and then uh, later lah, I will share the the uh, technical after this lah. Um, anyway, so uh, as I was talking about, um, you know, merging the physical. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, sambil sambil tunggu content, it's okay. Um, I'll just I'll just talk talk about that. Yeah, so so physical, digital, and 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 you know physical digital uh physical digital and biological world so these three uh uh, uh worlds uh, we uh, these three worlds and of okay uh, nampak ke content <laughs> i send this content to you tak nampak eh nampak yo let's talk all right anyway so um i'll just talk i'll, I'll just talk to yeah. while while we're waiting for the the, the technology to to come out and ah uh, ni lah dia so ni lah dia macam mana nak main tafsir sini <laughs> nampak <laughs> okay nampak ke okay all right so uh, okay i have the, the okay loading dia lambat sikit but your voice is okay Start early. <laughs> I think I tried to stop and, my camera and see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, tapa. Uh, as I'm talking, no problem. You can over what I talk about reality. I talk six five minutes. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my tila macam ni. Okay, so sorry again. Um, I hope now uh, it's okay. Uh, this is this is the uh, problem of uh, technology. Eh? So kita we have to be connected. Kalau tak memang masalah lah kan. All right. Um, hello, dengar ke suara saya? Sorry. Dengar dah. Boleh, boleh. 
Clear now. Clear now. Oh dengar. Uh, slide dengar ke? Slide nampak ke? Uh, slide tak. Sekarang tak ada. Tadi ada? Haa. Uh -uh. <laughs> ada. Okay. Alright. Let me kick off again lah eh. Okay. Sekali, oh. la sekali lagi. Okay. Let me present. Okay. Let me back up. Uh, so this is what happens when technology uh, disruption eh. Uh, uh, it's not just about physical disruption. It's about digital disruption as well. So physical will affect the digital uh, as is it's happening to me now. <laughs> I did track uh, uh, power off. So the physical world hugely affects the uh, digital and biological world. Eh? All right. And again, so uh, Kiman was talking about uh, VR, eh? uh, virtual reality. How does um, that uh, go into metaverse? But a bigger picture eh, uh, of that is how do we link to social media? So he was, uh, Kiman was also talking about social media, Facebook, and which one did the, you know, uh, link to this uh, virtual reality? How, how does this link to augmented reality and and um, blockchain? As uh, Kiman was saying about N NFT, then um, how does the NFT? Uh, per, how do you buy? Katakan you beli. Okay, let let's say you're 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 um apa, in a virtual world, kan? Yeah, now, sebenarnya contohnya lah, Pasar Malam kan, Pasar Malam, okay. PasarMalam.com, let's say, uh, we have a new website on this, this name, PasarMalam.com. Okay, um, sekarang Pasar Malam, you have to go to Pasar Malam. But now actually, PasarMalam.com is your grab and your, uh, what you call, uh, food panda kan. Uh, uh, that That is the, you know, um, going there. Sebab, sebab dia metaverse ni is just, is not, is not only, um, virtual reality is not only augmented reality, is not only blockchain je, you masuk-masukkan, but it's actually another, another world. Uh, kan? Dia memanglah nampak macam, uh, it's, it's, it's actually a mix eh, of 3D, or hologram, memanglah of course kita look at it as futuristic. Tapi sebenarnya um, teknologi tu dah ada. Contohnya um, on you know on our uh, in 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 our uh, in our cars eh we have the um the the uh, apa uh, systems and eh? uh, you are the uh, google play on your 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 car kan uh, and and now uh, you know on your phones you are the uh, the watch so let, let me just show you um macam mana kita okay um having to that ni ni memang disruption betul dia punya electric pening eh terus lari eh <laughs> My talk anyway. So, uh, talking about the physical, digital, and uh, biological worlds, uh, maybe, um, kalau kita ada soalan, maybe uh, we, we we can uh, cook it up there. But again, uh, let let's say, let me share on this line. Uh, let me, I hope this is okay. Yeah, let me share. Yeah. Okay, USB. Okay, right. Cool. Hope it works. Okay. Cool. All right. So now on my iPad line, okay. um, I think um, it's about merging eh, all these technologies, uh, you know, um, into the, uh, into the uh, pedagogy. So, so, so how do we, okay, metaverse is, is, is a big thing, and but how do you frame it into a um, technology? And uh, we use it by, uh, uh, menggabungkan pedagogi, space and technology. So, so how do we do that is actually, let's say one, um, I, I selalu tunjuk ni, eh, reality composer, if you've been to my uh, talks, eh, this is one app that, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of, you know, so, uh, one one app that is uh, potential for metaverse, okay, uh, augmented reality. Uh, dulu augmented reality ni susah nak buat, um, you can use, uh, whole, uh, what is the uh, app yang sebelum ni, uh, HP Reveal kan, HP Reveal dia adalah objects you can uh, play around with that. But this is actually uh, one one um, app this, that is awesome, uh, I really like this app, dia cepat gila nak buat. Uh, augmented reality so this is this is this is the, the future okay of course metaverse ni dia besar dia punya um, the, the, the 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 concept is very big but macam mana kita nak frame into pedagogy how do we frame it into the pedagogy how do we frame it into learning how do we frame it into our universities how do you use this can the, all this uh the, the the emerging trends the augmented realities the virtual realities but this is uh, going to your classroom. Macam you nak buat, uh, macam how, how do you use this? So this is one app that I can show you. Uh, I think Kiman dia lagi banyak lah apps dia boleh show you around. But I'll just show you one app that uh, I really like to use. Awesome uh, app on uh, on the iPad, Reality Composer. So when you click um, 
So when you go to Reality Composer, uh, it's, it's, it's free on the uh, the iPad and uh, on the phone. Eh? So uh, on the iPhone, so you can use it. And also um, on ni lah, uh, yeah, on the Apple ni ecosystem. So dia, dia akan keluar dengan world ni. And what you do is delete, press and the So development of metaverse, this sebenarnya macam ni lah. It looks a blank thing. And what, what, what are we going to put here again? For instance, I'll just use the stuff that is in here. Okay. We have the plus and then we'll uh, take, let's say, house. Can. Okay. This is a senang, yang, yang the easy one. Okay. Let's say we put a house here. And the house will be like super big lah. Sebab ni dia, the mapping ikut uh, dunia betul. So, kalau you uh, use this house outside, dia memang nampak besar lah. Alright. So, what I'll do is I'll just tap on AR. I tak buat apa-apa pun. I just import the house and tap on AR. Oh, oh. My room ni, dia terbalik-terbalik sikit dia punya ni. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. I hope not too messy. Eh, hey, cepat lah keluar. Okay. Alright. Tak keluar. Okay, tak apa. Okay. Um, dia besar sangat. No problem. What I want to do is scale it down lah. Scale it down sikit. I scale it down level eh. Okay. So, dia nampak. Nanti keluar dekat iPhone ni. Eh. Alright. Ah, uh, cool. Besar juga ni. Eh, tak mau. Okay, it's too big. I kecilkan lagi. Eh. Right, they are. Nak juga tunjuk. Okay, ah, see? So, the house is actually here. In my uh, room. Eh. Uh, and and this is actually one example, of course, this is uh, yang uh, kata short term lah kan. Uh, this is how you can create uh, AR punya uh, stuff. And for instance, eh, kalau nak cepat, eh, I'll just show you one one app is called uh, Sketchfab. So you can go to Sketchfab. Alamak. Dr. Himi, we can't seem to see your screen lah. Alamak, tak nampak ke? Ya, yeah, tak nampak. Oh, Allah, penat saya tunjuk. Itu, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. Oh my God. Ah, tak cakap apa-apa. Iman. Thank you. But, but, yeah. Alright, let me try again. Kalau tak boleh, okay. Uh, tak boleh. Nak buat macam mana kan? Okay. Let me try again. Penat saya tunjuk. Sekejap eh. Alright. Kalau tak, I, I just show the video version lah. I want to show the live version. Baru nampak best kan? Okay, can you see the screen? Ah, uh, Now can, yes. Okay, now can eh? Alright. Yeah. Okay, confirmation again. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, okay, yes. Okay, can. Right, okay. Nice. All right. Okay, so let me show you again. No, ni memang double. Ni kalau tak ingat, tak tahu lah kan. Dua, dua kali tunjuk ni. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is actually reality composer eh. And this is uh, macam mana you nak buat augmented reality dengan cepat. Okay. Um, okay, so ni ada kotak kat tengah ni. Just delete. Delete. And kalau you perasan ni, bulat ni adalah center of the world. Augmented reality memang macam ni. So, um, you have to have anchor. Okay. Dia akan start daripada situ. Alright, so quickly macam mana kita nak guna dalam kita punya classroom pedagogy, I'll just show you a quick one eh. Um, yang ada benda dalam ni, maybe house tadi, house, I'll just show you house first. And then the objects later, okay. Okay, uh, this, uh, Kiman, uh, confirm lagi sekali, nampak eh? Nampak, nampak, clear. Alright. Okay, cool. Okay, so, you can see the augmented reality here, straight away. Okay, and I tak buat apa-apa kecuali I nak kecilkan sebab, Uh, ni the map besar gila so um, it's actually for dekat luar kalau you buat dekat luar memang nampak rumah ni besar lah so we scale it down to like 10 10 ke 10 ke 5 ke kan right tekan AR alright ah, cool so nampak eh Kiman confirm yes yes nampak nampak yeah. Yeah. Cool. so ah, ni dekat I punya bilik studio ni kalau you nampak the house is here so, I kecilkan lagi lah eh Okay, dan, okay, so, ah, uh, dekat, alright. So, this is actually a part of metaverse lah for me, eh. You can actually, sebab so kita nak scale it down to, uh, scaffold it down to uh, classroom level, to uh, classes, to lectures. How do we do this, kan? Macam orang, yelah, um, we can use the Facebook ones, kan? Macam uh, Kiman said, tak boleh masuk lagi, kan? But when we have the access, yes, awesome. Um, we have to buy, of course. But this one, um, kita ada juga yang free, ada juga yang kena beli. So, let me show you one, uh, it's called Sketchfab eh. Let me show you. Dekat sini, I punya wifi ni tak apa bagus. So, I'll just show you the direct link lah eh. Uh, Sketchfab eh. So, Sketchfab. Right. So, Sketchfab. 
So Sketchfab dengan I think uh, virtual trader, virtual trader ke apa nama dia. I tak ingat lagi satu model tu dia ada all these 3D models. Katakan let's say 3 eh. 3. Cuba jadi workshop lah. Tak apa I just show you lah. Okay katakan 3 eh. 3, 3, 3, 3. Let's see uh, mana 3 yang best ni. Hmm. Okay um, press downloadable. Lepas tu yang ambil, jangan ambil yang ada dollar sign eh. Ah, dollar sign tu kena bayar. Okay. Alright. Kalau tak dollar tu okay. Maybe. Uh, mana tree yang okay. Um, okay. I'll download this tree. Okay. Click this one. And kalau you perasan. Ah, you dah boleh. Okay. Look at the 3D model. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, let's use this one. Dia bagi free. <laughs> free to use. Okay. Uh, tu kena tengok lah CC dia. Dia ada CC dekat situ. So nanti you uh, tengok lah the attribution. Uh, must be credited commercial uh, user lah. So you boleh gunakan untuk move yang berbayar ke apa ke tapi you must uh, credit doctor lah. So ni sisi ni penting eh. Look, look at the credit comment before you download. Okay. Back to that again. So USDZ. So you have the augmented reality format ni. Alright. Three. Okay. Now what I want to do is Okay. Kajap. Three. Hmm. Share to, so I drop, I drop to here, eh? I bet. Okay, cool, dah masuk iPad I, okay. Now let's see back my iPad. Okay, cool. All right, okay, so now, Tadi kita masuk reality composer sekejap Okay And Kalau ada pokok tadi kan So you ambil You just press plus here Press plus And import And you pergi dekat file tadi lah I sebenarnya save dalam file So I have a lot of sketch file model So let's see ada tree kat sini Ah, Okay tree Ah, boleh ada okay So we have the tree here All lah I hope tak slow Kadang-kadang dia slow nak loading Okay oh tree tu ada kat sana besar No problem Dia modelkan untuk kita so what we want to do is uh, tarik lah dia and scale it down lah eh. So ini uh, the development of metaverse eh. <laughs> yeah, I'll do metaverse satu eh. Okay. Eh, jangan pening pening lah. So dia memang pening sikit eh kalau 3D world ni. Uh, sebab you can you like uh, dia ada floating bukan not, not just X, Y axis. Tapi you have the, the Z as well. So, uh, dia memang agak sukar lah untuk ni eh. Untuk, tapi you have to have a good hang of it. Kalau you dah biasa, okey lah. Kan, I ni uh, lama tak buat lah. Okay, so we have the tree there. Awesome kan. Alright, okay. Katakanlah, uh, bila ada tree tu, kita nak dia, um, let's say we have a uh, rocket ke, katakan. Rocket. Oh, okay, we have the rocket here. And nanti rocket ni bila you know uh, we touch the ni and rocket ni akan terbang. Okay, let's let's do that behavior. Eh? Simple behavior. Okay, ini macam mana you, uh, you actually nampak macam 3D pun. Wow, best ni nak buat. Tapi uh, uh, apa? It's not that um, it's not that easy actually. Okay, alright. So let's say ni you macam ni nak tambah behavior. Just press this arrow here. Press arrow. Tekan plus. Um, custom. And put it add a trigger, katakan you tap on the rocket ni, okay, choose item, we, have, we choose it already, action sequence, let's say uh, move and rotate scale by, okay, ah, ni dia bergerak ke kiri kan, so let's say kita nak move it to the, oops, okay, no worries, boleh undo, <laughs> okay, ada, okay, yeah, boleh move it, okay, no worries, kalau kita start ni, kita delete je, okay, uh just do it again no problem action sequence move and kill to okay cool oh belum cakap tombang yang atas kan right let's say like this okay put in ar okay oh buat kit ah boleh lah eh okay so we play this one and let's say i tekan je rocket ni and dia terbang eh ah something like that so this is this is actually the the nila uh, of um, of uh, this is actually the 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 
one of the examples of metaverse lah uh, on 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 how you create uh, the content eh, on metaverse and augmented reality cuba bayangkan eh benda macam ni in 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 education so we can use augmented reality virtual reality the tools of, uh, kita dah ada dah sebenarnya uh, iPhone ada dia tapi you tak buat the content uh, so this is this is uh, moving towards Uh, metaverse moving towards content creation which we have we already have in our hands actually tapi how do we empower um, the pedagogy how do we empower uh, teaching and learning uh, in this all these worlds eh uh, jumbled up students semua dah sebenarnya dah immerse lah don't dah ada dalam social media don't dah ada dalam you know the apa tadi uh, kiban kata second life ada yang baru punya second life apa nama <laughs> i tak ingat lah but uh, you know like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know the the Um, all this social media, all this, um, kalau ada satu app, maybe, okay, that's, that's a, uh, maybe, um, uh, you know, an Apple app. Kalau um, I use Snap, Snapchat kan, uh, Snapchat, dia ada satu nama dia Snap Camera. Oh, this is, this is awesome also. Kalau you guna Snap Camera ni, you just add this uh, cartoon punya ni, and then, see, I, I become a avatar already. So, these are the things actually, dah ada dah dekat, dengan kita. And it's actually the... You know the combination of um, I don't know about anime. Oh, I did anime. So uh, you know, virtual, augmented reality, and then you know, uh, this this is this is the new world uh, of metaverse. Ni. And um, macam mana kita, kita kena fikirkan? Uh, how do we design it for meaningful learning? Okay, uh, app is just app lah, kan? Uh, but how do you use it? Kalau you use it for uh, non-teaching and learning, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not meaningful lah. But how you make it meaningful to your students? Ah, uh, kalau dorong minat anime, maybe you can be an anime like this. And you know, terangkan pasal sejarah. Oh, mak ayah mahu. Uh, kalau cerita pasal sejarah ni, oh, uh, panjang lah cerita ni. Eh. <laughs> Susah ayo, tapi dah sejarah. Tapi uh, now uh, I'm interested uh, in in how do you engage uh, students in 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 history now? Yeah. Uh, so th these are the apps, eh? Uh, apps. Uh, tools that are already um, available to us, but how do we use it for you know metaverse to 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 make it a got the short term yeah now now and then the long term is like the virtual headsets everything is in place we're moving there, but how do we make that uh, meaningful? Yeah, all right. So said uh, that let's let's um, have some questions and then um, yeah uh, we can discuss about that. Yeah, Kiman. So why? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think Dr. Mark is um, asking here. Why is everyone in the metaverse cut off? At uh -huh. Just floating. Ah, oh, I, I give Kiman the, to answer first. Then I will. Uh, this add. one. This. This. This one for the. I think it's for the example given just now. Uh, jap, I close something first. Jah, kita bunyi. Okay. It's it because of the Oculus uh, the head, headgear. You only have the headgear and also the the two handheld devices. Uh, at the moment, they cannot detect your leg movement yet, but it's in development. Soon, you will be able to uh, have the leg together, lah. In a way, because if they put the leg there, it will be quite artificial. You know, it's like static kind of, uh, or, or it doesn't follow your movement. Uh, what happened now? The Oculus uh, Quest 2, because you are holding the two devices, the hand actually follow your your gesture, so it feels like it's cut off and and uh, floating at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll add to that yeah. before uh, Kimar answers the second question. Oh, okay. Hari ini nuter to mark ni. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> just floating. Uh, I agree. I mean, of course, the base. It's always very important, eh? Um, so the base technology, technology to another glue. You have to have the goggles first. You have to have the, you know, um, the internet first. Tadi macam tadi ha, electrical first. Electric card mati semua. Okay, so you know, I mean the, um, the technology has to be there first, the base and the servers, the internet connection kena laju. Kalau tak metaverse tak jadi. Dia tangkut sangkut sangkut kita pun mm, okay yeah. Like you're waiting for my slide tadi. Yeah, why is that not telling me slide? It's like, yeah, I'm waiting forever, Billy. Ni. So, but to disrupted learning, can so how do we uh, redesign that? Um, in so, kita kena bukan kalau kita dari segi, uh, you know, developer, designer, uh, learning, learning expert, we have to not just think about us, we have to also think about the learner, can learner ni dia cukup ke teknologi nak metaverse ni? 
kita punya Google Meet apa Zoom pun tak lepas ni macam mana so so I think those are the things that um, we have to think about too so macam mana kita nak kecikkan space okay the kecikkan um, the content let's say uh, tadi AR AR is big eh but how do you make it small kan ada yang pixel pixel pecah tu why they make it uh, pixel pecah pecah tu sebab dia nak jimat space memanglah cantik kalau 3D ha kalau you ada PS4 macam Kiman main tu okay lah PS5 kan okay lah tapi <laughs> you know like that's like proper proper actually um, gaming is 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 actually very good lah dia punya processor uh, tu memang nak buat metaverse in the gaming platform i think is is awesome lah but for our pc ni kan uh, laptop ni um, yang uh, tujuh tahun ke belakang um, nak ni pun nak loading pun tak rasa so, technological first and then you know uh, we have to think of pedagogy also the learners and yeah the ruang ruang so uh, so we all, we also, we we always saying about pedagogy space and technology so technology how do we design the pedagogy and then the space the space is the metaverse lah is the metaverse world virtual world linking with real world kalau dia virtual semua menarik tapi you know like for me i would like like uh, it's like a um, combination lah i will jump uh, to this world and then you know uh, going to uh, you know kan ada google maps yang bukan bukan google map google earth going to ha oh, nampak uh, dia punya bangunan semua so i think those are the types of simulation immersiveness that they're looking for in this uh, metaverse all right let's let's go into the second question so how long do we have to wait for the matrix level metaverse wow kiman <laughs> it's very hard to answer this question i think like what uh the Hermie mentioned uh, the technology is already there um it's just a matter of uh, probably fine tuning or even make it more uh, portable or make it more affordable like, in a way because i think the technology itself as we have now with ai and whatnot i think uh, it's quite possible but i wouldn't i wouldn't see this coming maybe in the next i don't know uh, maybe in the next 30 to 50 years i'm not sure but um, but things are heading there um, even the hologram uh, you know hologram based kind of interaction all this while there, there, there are a lot of technology uh, trying to implement this kind of uh, holographic kind of interaction it's already quite well researched just that um, they just couldn't get it make it more affordable even he, uh, headgear now if you look take a look at it, vr headgear the price is still quite expensive uh, even though you can use the uh uh, the, the downgraded version using your phone and all that but it wouldn't be as immersive as it is but i think we are heading there slowly uh, i'm sure uh, with more uh, technology when it comes to the processing power and all that and then we will see the price drop and then you get you get more people creating content inside and then it'll be more useful yeah yeah okay awesome uh, great awesome uh, answer Kim. and maybe adding to that yeah i think uh, content is key lah yeah mm. Um, mm. definitely content um, english content banyak uh, you know in in bahasa in uh, maybe you know mandarin um, in uh, tamil or you know like um, uh, uh, apa in in sabah sarawak punya ni uh, you know di dialects you know kelantan punya you know all these dialects actually we, we are lacking in 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 content right yeah yeah of course um, it's about consuming and actually creating kan ataupun curating kan consuming senang lah of course lah you take the youtubes and the uh, talks from everybody you put it uh, put it in your your slides you curate kan tapi you know um uh, uh, moving from uh, creating uh, moving from curating to creating i think um we have to create more of uh, apa, content uh, i pun sendiri cakap je kan ha satu dua content lepas tu tinggal <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean like yeah of course i would love that and i think um um having good content content one thing can we can create content but quality content as uh kiman was saying about the sdg tu kan uh sdg is going for the quality of course quality and actually kenapa quality kita moving towards meaningful i think the end of the day uh, meaningful is important because if you teach for like one hour and a half and then you know like um, kiman is like going to your lecture and like oh, okay one hour and a half apa benda aku belajar tu tak ikat lah oh my god this like bad you know you have this like 3d world and you know, everything flying uh -uh, i didn't i didn't learn anything i don't know i don't know what he was talking about uh i think that's that's very important key lah um, of course content is key 
quality content is key, meaningful content is lagi key sebenarnya. The learning, we, we were talking about immersive learning, you know, immersing the the, the students there. Uh, so so how do we design for that? Um, of course, uh, we can we can test lah augmented reality, virtual reality, you know, um, 2D, 3D videos. Try, try, and then create content. Uh, but uh, you know, the, like the viral ones. Ah, oh, I suka tengok video video viral pun oh, viral ni. Telur tak kaka dekat dekat rumput pun boleh viral. So you know, you, have you seen the videos? Like okay, um, pecah ke tak? Macam, what? That is viral. Okay. <laughs> Tapi I pun betul pecah. So that is the inquiry based learning. Actually, that's inquiry based. Eh? Uh, everybody's like, what is inquiry based? Kan? That is actually inquiry based. How do you inspire your students to be inquiry? Huh? Tengok, telur tu pecah ke tak? Okay, now relate to uh, Prof. Karim dia tera lah, food science kan. Ha, okay, now, okay, this this trajectory. Okay, ha, pecah ke tak? Apa benda dalam tu? Mass ke? You know, momentum ke? Pecah ke tak? So all the formulas there. So I think those are the things that we can have a look at. Uh, 10, 10 years ago, two years ago, three years ago, one year ago, learning may be different, might be different. Now is 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 very different. Kita pun dah nak masuk endemic ni kan. I I I I, I spend pagi tadi dok try uh, the hybrid learning classes that we've been ni. Uh, susahnya nak buat hybrid ni. <laughs> Everybody saying ah boleh camera sini ha okay sekali. So so we have these three classes eh. Uh, one is the main one and then second third. So kita nak sync. So it's like sync, syncing and then online. Lepas tu bila buka Zoom, double-double. Lagi kalau orang tu nak cakap, lepas tu orang kat kelas sebelah sana nak cakap, orang kat kelas sebelah sana nak cakap, lepas tu dekat virtual world. Ha, you dah pening. <laughs> Macam mana nak sync? Yeah. Kejap lagi dengar echo orang dia buka. So like, and then you have to think about uh, multiple, you know, um, synch synchronous punya devices. Katakan orang kat sini 40. Sebelah sana 40, sebelah sini 40. Internet berapa banyak tu? Uh, bandwidth berapa besar tu? So again, um, back, uh, back to what Kiman is saying about bandwidth. I think bandwidth, internet connection, you know, the, the technology has to be there uh, to make this metaverse happen. But itu bukan alasan lah untuk kita tak try. Okay, we never try, we never know. Sebab so, I, I suka bagi example ni dalam my talks eh. Uh, Dulu-dulu lah, I ajar guna blog. Wow, wow, the blog inting lah macam metaverse lah. Ha, oh, blog oh, inting lah, I buat-buat. Tak ada orang respon tu dia. I tak respon. I macam, Oi, why you tak respon? Why what's happening eh? Oh God. So, kadang-kadang kita rasa, uh, we are the teacher, we are the apa, lecturer eh. We, we think that we can deliver. It's, it's awesome. Oh, awesome blog. Awesome. Metaverse. Awesome. Tengok student. Mm, nak, nak, ah. tak nak. Then what I did, I, I use uh, Facebook. Facebook group. Letak satu saat. Pum, 20 like. Oh. Dia tak tengok lagi. Okay, okay. Lepas tu dia jawab. Okay, I said, oh, this works. Maybe Facebook dulu lah kan. It works. Now, what works? What works for you? What doesn't work? It's not a one-fit solution. But yeah, awesome. Okay, we're still waiting for answers. Yeah, I tengah, uh, you know, like, uh, question, answer, uh, you know, boring ke, apa ke, nak nak apps lagi ke. Man, ada banyak apps, you know. You just ask him. He knows all this, this, this hebat, hebat punya apps. <laughs> You want to share? Maybe I can share. Lah. Maybe I can share lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can share. Cool, cool. Yeah. Then I'll share my screen. All right. Awesome. Screen two. Oops. I just want to share how I started actually because, and then I'll share you the tool because uh, this was one of the virtual world that I created using uh, VRML at the time. It was very, it's like at that at that time, virtual reality markup language VRML was was really popular, and I kind of have to took up a few courses just to make sure I learned the language and all that. And uh, I created one called VStreet. It's for uh, road safety education for kids. And the reason why I'm sharing you this this thing is because um, it's it's quite easy to say that VR won't work. Uh, you know, in, in, in the current world, when I started off, it was around 2008 and 2009 at that time. And thanks to my, you know, my, my supervisor at that time, Prof Chen, he, she kind of introduced me to this kind of uh, facility. What I noticed was when I tested out on the students, there are a few elements that I miss out, which, which I kind of appreciate the metaverse now, like in a way. Uh, for example, the social element. When I created this road safety world where they learn, and in fact, it helps a lot in terms of 
you know, visualizing the road safety kind of condition where they where do they need to walk, if there's car reversing, what they need to do and all that. And it helps them to visualize it better than the textbook kind of uh, approach where they need to memorize the rules or even see the picture or some video, which is not really immersive like, to them. But one thing I, I missed out was the social part where they, I noticed they, they couldn't discuss with the friends, like uh, they couldn't argue what happened and all that. I think that was the key element in Metaverse. Even in the gaming world, last time you only play alone. Now you can interact. If you ask a student who are playing all these multiplayer games, what they like about all those games is not because of the game element. It's more on the interaction that they get from the peers. They get to talk to each other. They get to date sometime, you know, they just date their girlfriend and boyfriend online just to play the game and all that. I mean, they get that kind of interaction. So the social presence is very, very high in, in the current trend of using virtual world. So I, I think I don't want to go through this too much, just to quickly kind of sum up. Of course, we know that VR support exponential learning. We know this quite, you know, it's quite well studied already in the in this area where you can simulate different setting, like like what was mentioned by uh, Dr. Himi just now, if like Google Earth, you want to bring a student to somewhere, you can just bring them there and all that. So it's quite useful. And then you also have uh, this simulating authentic learning opportunity. I think this is quite true as well because you need to kind of create the the world which is similar to the real world and they get to experience authentic learning like what was demonstrated just now using ar for example you can show things which are not visible in the physical world and you get to experience more content and all that and last one i think what is missing now in our teaching and learning is this one risk-free and autonomous learning i wouldn't say missing maybe not as much um, not given as much attention as we should uh, for example risk-free right if you do experiment if you do it in the physical part you'll be watching on the the uh, the resources that you have. Like if you are using chemical and all that, the student don't get the chance to really experiment it well because of the cost. Because if you, if you mix a lot of the chemical, then you tend to waste a lot of money and you cannot allow a lot of students to try it because it could be limited to maybe, you know, certain group of students who get, who get to experience it. Or when they fail, it's, it's that's it, right? And they don't get the chance to redo. So what happened in the... Uh, metaverse or virtual world is like you allow that kind of experimentation first, then you proceed to the real world. Uh, a good concept would be the flight simulator. All pilots go, go, have to go through this because if they keep on flying the plane and crashing out, then it will be not really good for them to train. But because of the flight simulator, they get to experience different condition, wind condition. They can even set parameters for different kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, settings so that they can get themselves uh, prepared for this kind of condition. Of course, the physical part will still come in. But then they, at least the virtual one allow them to do this kind of risk free and autonomous as in they make their own decision. If you see the metaverse now, like Roblox or Minecraft, if you ask a student why they like it, they get to decide things. They don't have to follow certain rules uh, that they, you know, that they are pre predetermined and all that. And I would like to, to introduce you to this frame VR. For those of you who would like to try out uh, VR for the first time, this is probably a good start. And uh, it, it, you only need a browser. So maybe I'll just show you how it looks like. At the moment, it's still free. I'm not sure how long it will be free. You just go to framevr.io, right? Framevr.io, create an account, and you can read through their whatever they, they, you know, whatever they are promising. It's quite straightforward kind of approach, not really fancy, but this is something that you can use maybe to create your own world or ask a student create, to create a world. So once you sign up, you, 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 there's something that you like, your inventory, your frame, and all that you just have to create a new frame. They call it frame as in like a scene, right? So I just created one just now, a sample. You can see here, hopefully. <laughs> I created the CD AESM here. Uh, uh, so just in case you're wondering what I meant, if you create new, new frame, you just have to name it. Let's say USM. And then you can choose the, the predetermined environment here. You know, you choose whichever you like. You can even upload your own if you want to. Let's say even create your own lecture hall, maybe for hybrid mode, instead of uh, using Zoom and whatever, so they can come into your uh, floating hall. But one limitation for the free account at the moment, it only allows up to 40, 40 connections, meaning 40 students to come in, uh, or for 40 users to come in at one time. So you can create multiple room if you want to, but one room allows up to 40 only at the moment, the free account. So once you click on it and then you are brought into something like this, this is a Zen office kind of thing. So it, the world is already there. You 
this one support the uh, VR headgear as well. If you have the VR headgear, the Oculus uh, uh, Rift or Oculus uh, Quest, you can just wear it and then you can navigate using the uh, the headgear. But if you if you don't have it, you can use desktop like what I'm doing now. And to move around, you just have to, to use your keyboard to, to walk around like, like this. So what happened is it's very straightforward. You just have to click the edit mode here and you get to add all these features here. All right. So let's say if you create a room for your for your own class, if you have a video, for example, like a flip learning video that you want them to watch first, then you can add your video, or, you know, add video. Or if you have a 360 video to, to view the world, you can just add. Whenever you add something, like it will, it, will, it will pop up here and then, of course, ask you to upload the video. If you uh, would like to add like a streaming screen or, you know, white, uh, whiteboard and all that, it will appear on your screen and then you just add it in, right? Like even reading material as well, PDF. So let's say if you simulate a world here, let's say I have a room for Prof Karim here, uh, since, since he's not around, so I, I kind of have his room available here, so I have to walk into the room, let's imagine <laughs> his world there, right? And let's say I want to put something here, so I can just add some photo or add PDF. Let's say I add, P um, yeah, maybe a PDF. So I just upload something here, just get a PDF. Imagine like it's your reading material and whatnot, and let it, uh, let it, you know, upload. Hopefully it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's uploading. I think this file is too big because it's, it's the slide. Anyhow, you wait for it to upload, and then you can place anywhere you like. So if you have 3D model, like what was shown by Dr. Helmin just now, you can download it from all these free resources for 3D model. If you need the 3D model, uh, but if you don't need it, then that's it. So you can add your, you can see here, it's still loading. Yeah, you can see here. So this is the this is the uploaded PDF. Imagine this is the slide just now. So if you click on edit mode, you get to move it around where do you want to put it, right? So if you if you are a bit disoriented in terms of all this, you know, the XY, XYZ kind of thing, you can just use this thing called snap to surface. Snap to surface. So wh whichever surface you detect, it will try to snap to it. Like uh yeah, you just click on it, click on the wall, for example. So you can imagine this is like a projection of your wall. Oops, sorry. Up here. Okay, once done, you just click edit mode. That's it. So it becomes like your room, you have a virtual presentation going on here. Right? It, it feels like you're projecting your, your content. All right. But notice that because my my how to put it, my uh, PDF is quite large, so it will take a bit of time to load, but you can hear the navigation and all that, okay? So just in a split second, I can, I can create a room for my, for my class already if I want to. So if you have tutorial room, for example, you have like PBL room one, PBL room two, then they can go to PBL room one, get the first challenge, and then go to PBL room two for next challenge. So if you think about pedagogical aspect, you can integrate many things, gamification, uh, inquiry-based learning just now and even you know all kind of approaches that you have been using uh, like the other day we were talking about design thinking <laughs> so those of you who have attended the design thinking session with me the other day you can actually have a room like this right for where all the students will come in at like a defined stage or whatever they can they can kind of follow this kind of uh, setting right so so far it's still free you can try and explore this uh, frame vr io and it's it's quite pleasant. If you notice, the 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 the, the loading is not that not that uh, how to put it. It's not that heavy in a way because maybe now I don't have uh, a lot of resources yet. Once you have once you have more, maybe it will take uh, more time. And inside this frame uh, VR, if you go to let me see for a while. Um, this uh, oh, there's supposed to be another one. Yeah. There's one called Ediverse, created by the Australian uh, counterpart. So they have a few examples here that they have created. This is like an exhibition style. Lah. But when you have the um, exhibition style, you can always click on it and then, you know, see different type of resources available. This is the uh, Edu Metaverse of different content. All right, of different content. So if you click on it, you have to open a different world. If you click on this one, it will go to another world. It feels like an exhibition. So those of you who like to use this for exhibition, you can use it as well. You know, like Expo and all that. You can have uh, different 
different different booth showing different things uh, or different subject or different topics. Uh, you can explore this. It's quite useful and it's quite easy to use, uh, to be honest, right? So if you need to plus any asset, just click on the plus sign or just open up the, the toolbar here and then you can add. And this is only one scene. You can you can add more scene if you want to go to, sorry. I have to close because I'm opening up this chat. Yeah, you can edit and then if you have many people online, then you can chat with the person. Of course, now uh, you can see I turn off all this, right? So if, if the students are in, then you can actually uh, let them talk as well. Okay, so it's like instead of using Zoom or WebEx, maybe what you would like to experiment this uh, for your classes, for a small group discussion or consultation or whatnot. So it's like a different type of uh, experience altogether. And you don't even have to add, install anything. You just give them the link like this on. If you go to this, maybe I'll just share with you and see whether if you would like to go in <laughs> and, and, and try it out uh, for this part. Just, just, where was the chat just now? I lost the chat. Is it behind you just now? Okay. Uh, I lost the chat box. Okay, and here, this one, just in case. So maybe if you, if you try it out, you don't even have to install of course, you have to use the latest Chrome uh, browser. I mean, latest browser. If you're using the old school browser, then of course they you are used to, to update, right? Okay. So, so this is one example. I think that's about it. Another, Another yeah. yeah. Oh, did I just? Did I just? Oh yeah, I see some people coming in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, can see people coming in, right? I also uh, came in and then you know, <laughs> they just suddenly bouncing, sort of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, good that, yeah. Okay, you can see some people are talking. <laughs> ah, rupanya dorang nak borak dalam metaverse, Kiman. Dia tak nak borak dalam Zoom. Yeah, lah, too, lah. They want to chat. Yeah, the Zoom, they're bored. They want to do use the metaverse, man. <laughs> yeah, but just in case, if you are interested to use this for your uh, teaching and learning, this will be a good start to kind of encourage your student. Lah. I don't know, you can see the avatar going around already. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool, cool. I hear some people talking. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, correct. By the way, if you click on this one, oh, sorry, if you click on the profile, you can actually change your avatar. Right now, everyone is Android, lah, you know? <laughs> uh, everyone it seems they're like Android. So you can actually customize it. So, but I think now, oh, everyone is viewing <laughs> for Karim. For Karim, can you? lah, gambar dia. <laughs> okay, but but this is how you can play with it. And, and what I like about this frame IO, I mean frame VIO is, is lightweight. And uh, I, when I found this and I recall, maybe I have to stop audio. Okay. I mean, when, when I found this, uh, I recall by late when I was creating my own, I said, hi, I dig now create the world. Now I think it's quite drag and drop thingy. It's very easy, like what was shown by Dr. Hemi, you got all between drag and drop. Dulu, kena buat, you know, the positioning is more, you have to really type in the, 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 the XYZ. Now, everything is visual. I think it's quite useful. And you don't have to create it if you don't want to. You can ask your student to create it and create content for your, for your topics. Uh, you can see like people are browsing through the, the slide. But it's the same, content to dengan, you know, the things that you're showing. Okay, something like that lah. And there are different, uh, what I created here was a few, a few several it's actually a big room so you can go anywhere you like and imagine if this is your classroom then you can kind of simulate it i'm not sure how long uh frame we are will make it available like this uh so in the future i'm, I'm sure they would start to charge but uh, hopefully it's not that expensive for 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 educators to use like at the moment it's still free and but one connect one one room or sorry one virtual world only 40 connection it will tell that it's only 40 okay i think that's all ah uh, uh, yeah last one is roblox studio this is for those who are more adventurous if you want to create games and all that uh roblox studio and similar to minecraft studio but roblox has more flexibility in terms of the the the, the animation and all that 
it's this one is similar to what Dr. Hermie showed just now, where you just drag the object and then you just decide, you know, you want to move, you want to whatever happened, but it, it's more game like kind of uh, setting, lah, right? I think, um, oh yeah, this is the challenge, just, <laughs> just, just, to, just to kind of uh, end my part. Okay, back to Dr. Hermie or anyone, if there's any question or anything. Yeah, awesome. Oh, I love the uh, software. Um, yeah, uh, what was it called again? Frame, uh, frame, frame VR. Frame, frame VR. VR, okay. I also have one. Um, uh, hmm. Sebelum ni, I jumpa. So, yeah. I'd like to share mine also. Oh, jealous pula tengok Kiman punya. Awesome. <laughs> so, so, mine is uh, spatial.io. Uh, and so, I pun baru create ni. Uh, so, dia tiba-tiba create uh, my house. So, you can go to my home here. Oh, so... You know, like, and then you can move the, uh, so I have the avatar titipu rambut, I panjang pula dibuat, so, but it's okay. Anyway, I, I will share with you uh, the experience here also. Sama macam Kiman punya. So you can actually add lah here. Uh, I, I, I really like this one, but so you can add like add content. And then, um, dia adalah dekat sini. Um, you know, like the empty frame, drag and drop, macam yang uh, Kiman buat tadi. And um, ini kalau you ada, you know, the blockchain punya ni. But uh, again, it's, it's, it's great that you can, you know, like uh, sort of uh, configure this and letak slide dekat kiri kanan ke. And you know, look, you can move actually around eh, uh, with with the, what do you call it, um, the arrow eh. Uh, ni ni susah sikit dia, you boleh tarik, drag for the view. And then this one you can just go and then you boleh chat with, uh, with me here, uh, sort of. Um, also, it's like a game spatial punya experience so let me share mine also copy here uh i pun dah hilang chat box where's the chat box where's the chat box okay <laughs> all right enter oh, okay so uh dia punya software uh, spatial.io but i tak sure dia punya uh, dia berat ke tak nanti kiman dia terror-terror ni dia boleh tengok lah uh, berat ke tak uh, for me it's, it's okay here um at my uh, place but uh, you can have a look here. So dekat sini you boleh um, add a portal. Portal ni dia boleh uh, pindah ke tempat lain. You know, uh, moving to worlds and worlds. So you boleh uh, try masuk dekat sini. And um, actually you can also um, share screen also here. Sekejap nantilah I share, uh, share my screen here with you which I am sharing already. So I tak payahlah share kan. Uh, you can add a sticky note kan. Katakan, hi everyone. Oh, ada tak orang nak masuk? Ke you kena ni ha, tu. Why like this in this virtual <laughs> Kan tadi dia okay sebab Android ni bila tak ada ni <laughs> Kan kini hilang Aduh kan Android dia okay bila manusia terus What kan <laughs> Okay hi everyone hmm, Try okay ha, so nampak I post tu dah keluar There and uh, you can add uh, uh, for instance lah, I add one thing, katakan empty frame kan. Enter your house. <laughs> kata tak boleh. Can, cannot eh? Ke huh. okay. belum public? Oh, maybe not. Oh, kena bayar lah. Okay. Kena bayar? Uh, kena bayar, okay. Tak apa, kalau tak boleh enter, oh, okay. no problem. I just, um, uh, you can explore the free free versions here. Ini semua orang boleh masuk confirm, okay. But this one not not my house lah. Let's, let's. <laughs> Let me share. Let's see what happens. Copy. Okay, ni. Uh, okay, right. Cannot enter my house. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so this is a park. Uh, let's try. <laughs> Special or I the park. Okay, jom kita try collaboration lagi. Tapi yang bila park ni dia macam boleh visit je lah kan. You boleh jalan-jalan. But you cannot do anything lah because this is, this is uh, ni. Of course lah, ada yang paid version. Yang you punya tadi, Kiman, is is free eh? Yeah, free for, for now. Ah. Tapi up to 40, 40 uh, connection lah. Ah, okay. Ah, tu ada yang dah join tu. Ah, kalau you you jumpa I, oh, tu dah ada dah. So, hi. <laughs> ah, Kiman pada. Alright. Ah. Hmm, okay. So, oh, yeah. Tapi yelah, legless is still killing lah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's so like, yeah, yeah. it's like, it's like, like, good stories, like, okay. <laughs> so, it's, this is funny. Uh, but again, th th these are the things that, um, um, oh, okay. 
so, so these are the things that uh, apa, we can do in virtual worlds lah. I really like this this concept. But again, itulah kena tengok you punya um, hmm. uh, apa the the internet connection lah again and the technology but hmm. uh, awesome. Ah uh, and kat sini dia boleh letak travel too. So you can like uh, go bila you click tu. Tengok ni. Okay, travel. So ah uh, dia dia bawa you ke tempat lain lah. And then. Ah, uh, there's an art studio here. Ah, uh, but to boleh move around. You know, this is this is actually a fluid lah. Sebab kadang-kadang sebenarnya kita nak uh, apa yang yang tak perlu um, apa install kan? Ah, uh, nak install app ni, nak install app ni. Sama lah macam Kiman punya tadi. You just click terus masuk je. Students tak payah install install. Ah, uh, but you, of course lah. You have to have the uh, latest browser kan untuk hmm. and proper yeah, yeah. proper things lah uh, to render 3D. But once that is going I think this is great lah. Um, again, so so it's not just about us creating content, tapi the students creating content. Kita kita uh, I think uh, what Kiman uh, and I think everybody is saying about uh, learner centered kan. Everybody is saying about learner centered. But how do you actually empower students to actually create? Uh, so these are the types of things. Um, kadang-kadang kita kita tahu sikit sikit, tapi apa sebenarnya? Ah, uh, you click je dekat sini kan. So um, it's all these apps. And and once you know that students can actually create wonders, tau. Um, actually, in, in my uh, apa, uh, class is uh, pengajaran bantuan komputer, so it's a computer assisted um, instruction. So students ni, I cakap lah, okay, you buat content untuk uh, sekolah sekolah rendah. So we are apa uh, 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 all all our students are basically basically uh, teachers lah, teacher atau uh, sama ada pre service ataupun in service teachers. Apa yang kita buat? Okay, so student, you tak pernah guna? Okay, let's go, let's do it. And and they they are creating great great content. Uh, even though it's you know like macam Powtoon, uh, ada lah yang gaming punya, ada yang guna you know like game apps. But I think that the how they because they only check book. Uh, how they uh, translate the information is good. Contohnya, I bagi you simple lah yang cikgu-cikgu uh, you can. Yes. Yes, it's just, um, you know, like uh, for... Sekejap eh. Okay, let's go here. Eh, jauh sangat ke ni? Saya tak jumpa. Okay. Oh, dia kerapat. Sendiri dia punya channel pun tak ingat. <laughs> okay, sudah. Okay, yeah, I, I want to show you one. So, so this is, uh, yeah, this is different from the spatial one. But sebenarnya, uh, again, uh, like I'm saying, it's, it's, it's about um, content ini. Okay, terlumpa pula. Sekejap eh. Sekejap. Hmm, okay. Okay, contohnya lah. Alright, sekejap eh. I mean, okay, okay. Contohnya lah. Okay, so this is this is the content which is created by uh, students, kan? But uh, contohnya ni ni simple lah. Um, we were saying about this uh, students cannot create. Ni 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 guru-guru uh, eh tak pernah guna TikTok, tak pernah guna. Okay, maybe they use TikTok lah for but not for teaching. Um, uh, and this is example eh, simple eh, dia dia buat. Okay, let me show you what they did. Mari kita bersama-sama meneroka Apple Playstation dan Apple Holofen. Tuan saya mendapati perubahan pada pun. For um, that, that's just a example lah kan. Uh, apa, kalau kita nampak dekat sini, it's actually tak payah guna apps yang gila-gila pun sebenarnya untuk create um, this virtual reality, this this filters kan. Kita uh, gunakan untuk uh, fun kan, social, bersocial. But actually, this this can be used for for content creation. And also, benda-benda ni, if we don't have this content, of course we have the space. Ini kan um, the the space the Uh, let me just show you lah kerangka ni kan. Uh, this is the kerangka uh, ruang pedagogi dengan teknologi. Of course, we have the technology uh, uh, and the space. Ni, ni untuk UK, um, UKM lah. We have the ruang active and everything. So, in this context, 
ruang ni or the space is actually the metaverse ni lah. Metaverse which is virtual reality ke, augmented reality ke. Um, this is the space. Tapi where's the learning? Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we, we're roaming around. Okay, awesome kan. Macam yang Kiman cakap tadi lah. We can go in this to do the PBL uh, rooms and do problem-based learning there. We can use the augmented reality. We can use the TikToks, <laughs> the videos here and put it, link it here. Uh, so, so I think of course we can... Content is key, and um, how you link the content to to make it meaningful. So um, again, this this goes back again to pedagogy, to learning, teaching and learning. You name it lah. Ah, namu macam-macam technology, pedagogy. Uh, but um, here I think the 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 importance is how to link all this technology, pedagogy, and ruang, physical and also digital, physical, digital, biological. How do we link this and merge it? to you know to make it uh, meaningful again meaningful and uh, uh and impactful for their learning and in terms of long term memory eh, macam mana kita nak ingat ni student uh, kalau kita masuk dalam kelas again how do we retain the memory berapa banyak pun kita ingat sebenarnya uh, dalam teaching and learning eh. uh, again i always use this this example dajam part kenapa i boleh ingat you know I masuk kelas uh, teacher tu, uh, cikgu tu masuk-masuk. Wow, ada TV je cakap. Oh, masa tu macam wow. So, I mean very, uh, I'm, 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 I'm old. Uh, I'm older. Okay. So, but bila masuk tu, oh, TV best you. Berbunduri TV. Tengok lah TV. Cakap, oh, we're going to watch TV today uh, until the end of the class. Cakap, oh, best gila. Just watching a movie. Tapi sampai sekarang, I ingat dah jampak ni. I ingat sampai sekarang. Why? Sebab the civil war lah between the north and the uh, uh, south. I always use example because why? Sebab these are the um, memorable, meaningful uh, and impactful, the long-term memory uh, that we want to design for our students, teaching and learning. Uh, these, these are all, yeah, lah, um, uh, good, great virtual realities, augmented realities, kan? Tapi at the end of the day, betul kita belajar dalam tu. So we have to test, eh? Ah, uh, Nanti jadi macam cerita I block. Oh, kan main buat block. I don't want to know. So I think uh, it's, it's very important to, to have the reflection by the students. Do you like this? Do you want this? Okay. And then uh, if, if, if if it doesn't work, change. No problem. That is how Kita, we are in uh, higher education and we, we are autonomous. Uh, but autonomy is given to the student also. But we are uh, we, we can create our own experiences. We can create our own experiences eh, um, in that. All right. Okay. Ha, ni ada soalan. Okay. Seterusnya. Uh, Dr. Zainal, uh, Tuan Kiman, yang dalam frame VR tu dia ada template room yang kita add the content. So, we no need to design the room. It's ETC. Uh, thank you, Tuan. Uh, okay. Kiman, maybe you have a comment to that? or? Uh, yeah, in 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 frame, uh, they, they, are the, they have a few suggested kind of room, like uh, the common one, lah, like the lecture hall, lounge and whatnot. But if you like to create your own world, you can upload your own your own uh, world in a way like you just have to design uh, or uh, what I did before was you take a 360 uh, the, like a panorama kind of uh, picture of your own room if you want to simulate the real room lah. for example you have a very nice uh, learning space already in your in your in your university so you can just use the camera to take the panographic uh, view and then you just upload and then you will turn into a room for you in, in this frame VR but uh, of course the the quality may not be as uh, as nice as the one they created lah because it's more uh, the 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 3d is more you know high, high definition uh, but i think no harm if you want to try just experiment with a panoramic kind of view and then see whether you can start to add things lah. and then they have all this uh, how to put it existing inventory like all the furniture but if you would like to add on to your own content then you can download all these free 3d resources online and upload all your furnitures if you want to yeah i think this is quite relevant to what dr mark was saying in terms of the uh the graphic because the existing one normally are quite western centric which i kind of agree because i i think we can't blame them because the tool was introduced for them they, it was not meant for us to begin with uh, but then of course it's also wrong to assume that there are no you know non-western cultures in in their countries of course there are right but then of course it still feel a bit westernized kind of thing which is why i think our role is even more important to create more content relevant to our culture relevant to our you know our features and all that like it, it's also a challenge that i try to overcome whenever i create my own virtual world as well because 
like like the one I showed you just on the street. I actually tried to my best to simulate the real condition in in Malaysia with all the potholes, <laughs> you know, with the with the. Uh, the, the 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 you know signage which are not properly properly uh, written and all that it's just to make it re more realistic. But I would agree that when it comes to content development in Malaysia, we are still still far behind when when it comes to this kind of thing. Even all these tools that we are introducing you today are all from you know the other part of the world. Uh, for the one that we have now. Uh, even if you ask all these game developers in Malaysia, they will also tell you that they are using all the engine provided by the, the Western world because they are far advanced when it comes to this. But content wise, we really need to figure out how to how to maximize this. I think the game development in Malaysia is also quite slow. Um, even though you have all these big players like all these Upin Upin, you know, the the, the, the Bobo Boy, the monster company and less all these uh, you know all these companies into animation. But in, when it comes to gaming, you can still see that we're still lacking uh, of our original content. Yeah. So I, I do agree when it comes to this. Uh, it could be, you know, if you want to say like, like a new colonialist kind of approach, it could be, but then uh, uh, if you give more room for all our content developers, I think soon we'll, ha we'll have more content uh, from our own culture and our own, you know, appearances and whatnot. Yeah. It's just a matter of whether we really want to put effort in creating it or not. <laughs> yeah, I agree with, with Kiban. Yeah, I think... Uh, of course, uh, it, it is important. Uh, it is important to to link. Apa, um, ada kadang-kadang, yeah, um, it's meaningful to a certain extent. Uh, ada juga yang tak perlu, but ada juga yang perlu sebenarnya. Contohnya, I give you one. Ni, I, I always show again, also in in my workshops. Yeah, ni ni ni. Kita nak boring nanti tengok ni. Okay, bye. <laughs> Anyway, I want to show it anyway. Okay, so this is one content I always use. Uh, I tak sempat nak buat dah, but this one like two years ago, I, this content. Uh, I just show you a glimpse of this. Okay. Peter adalah Raja Parameswara. Peter adalah Tun Peru. Ni hao. Saya adalah Laksamana Yi Ching. Ni hao salah Yi Ching. China. Okay, Mahalukun. Ada adalah Said Abdul Aziz dari negeri Arab. Tun Perak, Beta berterima kasih kepada kamu atas kemenangan tentera siam yang menyerang kota kita. Menjunjung kasih Tuan Ku, pati hanya menjunjung titah Tuan Ku. Okay, so uh, actually what, what I want to show you is um, this content is... Uh, created by using memoji uh, memojis memojis uh, on on memoji ke memojis okey meme lah kan memes kan uh, memoji uh, meme plus emoji uh, on on the uh, ipad so um, i guna clips and i sort of tukar dia macam rupa-rupa dia macam om om nisha lah okey ha uh, ni macam para mesra agak-agak lah kan para mesra lebih kurang lagi kan ha uh, ni sebenarnya Semua saya ni berlakon, okay? Ah, ni misai tu perak lah apa. So we want to, you know, like ah uh, ni ada salah je lah. But, but anyway, so ah, uh, jadi lah ah, uh, jadi yang sebenarnya gincing ni. So kalau you tengok kat belakang ni, ada lah cakap dengan saudara saudara ni. So um, for instance ni, uh, uh, let me show you lah a bit eh. Okay, oh, mana suara dia? Dari mereka bau harum ini. Syukran Jazilan, ya Sultan. Ana Syekh Abdul Aziz dan ini berdagang di Melaka dengan rempah ratus. Hmm. Dan di sini apa pula? Apakah kain yang sangat lembut ini? Tidak pernah betul lihat kain selembut ini. Syekh Syekh Tuan Ku. Patip. Okay, anyway, so... Uh, we can actually edit eh, the features ni uh, uh, supaya dia kelihatan you know more of a, like a Asian punya look so let me let me show you show you glimpse sikit eh, macam nak buat ni uh, ni yang kena tanya Kiman dia nampak ke tak ni ok Kiman ok ke Kiman nampak ok yeah, nampak alright nampak. awesome ok cool I'll just show you a bit eh. so clips eh uh, ni clips alright so let me create one new one eh. Okay. Use this hand sebenarnya kalau kita klik. Ha, I dah jadi my emoji lah. And actually apa yang buat? Just put this uh, filter sikit eh. Kalau you perasan dekat sini ada macam filter ni. 
Hmm. I buat filter sikit. Ah uh, mana dia punya tu? Oh, I can jadi promisora lah kan. Oh this one. Ah uh, so ni adalah filters dia. I just use this, you know, uh, you know, Arabian look ke apa ke, ha, this Chinese look ke, ha, kan, kat sini, ha. Oh, maybe I'll, uh, this one is like the Parameswara. So, benda ni sebenarnya kita boleh create and then saya rakam je terus. Let's say, Hello, saya adalah Raja Parameswara. <laughs> For instance, and then let's play this one. Hello, saya adalah Raja Parameswara. <laughs> okay, ha, ni belakang tu pun sama. And actually, how to uh, create the emojis? Eh, kalau mak messages, I know kita dia. <laughs> okay, I hope my best. Okay, oh god, okay. Why? Ah, uh, lama tak ada nampak lah ni messages. Later lah messages. So, <laughs> dekat messages tu, you boleh create the the all these emojis. Eh, ah, uh, I tak tak prepare lah untuk yang ni. So I can delete all the messages tu nanti pelik pelik lah. Okay. Anyway, so all this uh, can be created in 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 um, using emojis, and then you can uh, put on uh, tulisan, katakan um, subtitles here, kan? Nah, all right. So let's let's use this subtitles. Okay, we'll just use this one, all right? And actually, kita boleh tukar language, eh? Dekat sini, you can change the ni. Uh, katakan you nak uh, Malay. Oh, I don't know. Okay, kita try lah Melayu, ya? Okay, boleh kita? I don't know. See. Selamat Hari Raya. Saya adalah Adam. Ada pula. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, dia, dia boleh ni, uh, kata synchronously do that. Selamat Hari Raya. Okay, anyway. For instance lah. And and this actually, benda-benda ni, content ni, I think, again, um, is is very uh, key and important. Uh, the 3D, 2D, uh, augmented reality, uh, all these, you know, uh, spaces ni, I think uh, is, is very crucial. Again, content is key. But how do we make these um, experiences uh, again uh, for the students? Eh? All right. Okay. Ah, all right. Soalan lagi ah, kepada Akiman. Um, Dr. Mark, why are the graphics in all the apps Western Sentry? Oh, ni yang you dah jawab tadi eh. Would you say there's a strong new uh, colonist? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ada lagi tak yang lain? Okay. Um, tak ada soalan yang lain. Yeah, again. Uh, so, so I think again, uh, content again is key. Um, content. But how you deliver that? Yeah, um, back to you, Kiman. Ada apa? Maybe nak tambah ke apa ke? Um, to you know, sort of maybe less, less, less. Uh, recap and then uh, we we can end the session um uh, uh, soon. So maybe some final words from you and then I'll just uh, add some and then we uh, finish off. All right, back to you, Kiman. Yeah, I mean, w when it comes to you know uh, the use of whatever we have uh, available in the metaverse. Uh, in the next, I think in the next few years, we'll see more development, especially from the Meta company, uh, Facebook. If you ask me honestly, when it comes to whether or not it will work in your context, it will probably take uh, time to, to adjust. I mean, we have been talking about virtual reality for so long, and you can see why it's not still not really widespread, uh, because there's so many uh, challenges that we need to overcome. From connect from internet connection to to devices and all that, like the o Oculus Quest Two will cost you around two point five k. To to you can't afford to have uh, like too many of it, right? So probably you need a dedicated room to implement it in your in your universities. Like I think some universities are investing on this, creating a special space for for all these tools. But it would it would kind of defeat the purpose because if you can have everyone in a room. For the VR, might as well just do the physical thing, right? Because it's supposed to be like you are everywhere, and then you know you're it's supposed to be you're everywhere, and then you just sign into the to the metaverse, and then get you know get get involved with the activities like what we hope for like during the pandemic when we cannot meet online. Uh, I mean, cannot meet physically. We can meet online, doing all the things that we need uh, to to get that social presence. But what I notice is whatever we're having now, like Webex, Zoom, and all this Microsoft thing, Google Meet. Are already sufficient in in kind of creating the presence. What lacking now is like what we have been talking about since the beginning is the lack of uh, probably idea and uh, creativity in how to make use of all these 
tools, uh, like what was demonstrated by Dr. Hilmi and, you know, the tool that I mentioned to you just now, how are we going to use all these things? Like, if if you have a metaverse with a, a virtual room or virtual virtual hall, for example, how are you going to use it, no? If you just dump things there, like put all the assets in and you don't try your best to think about the pedagogical aspect, then it will not be meaningful. I think we all know this. As educators, we kind of know that just putting things or putting content in may not be sufficient. Um, so in relation to what I was I was sharing a couple of days ago on design thinking, I think this is the best time for you to try. So you might want to also encourage your student to uh, to take a look at all these tools like, like the frame uh, VR just now and see how can you uh, you know change some aspect of your teaching and learning and turn it into the virtual form. I, I see its potential in hybrid learning. Uh, uh, so instead of depending on this, I call it flat kind of LMS, you know, uh, a flat LMS is that you just go in, read through the forum and then submit assignment, uh, downloading your notes, that kind of flat kind of experience. You might want to create like, they actually enter your room or you know, maybe not your room as in you know, your room, lah, means your, your space where they enter your room and then they, this is the room for them to gather the notes. This is the room for them to book a time for you to, to do consultation. This is another space for them to have their own mini discussion, that kind of thing. It's like it, it creates a different kind of experience and that kind of immersiveness sometimes is lacking in our teaching and learning when it comes to digital platform because it's so flat, right? And I mean, not everyone is going to go through your LMS and if you ask them, probably they just download the notes and reply to one or two forums and that's it. So maybe sometimes having this kind of world would help. But again, accessibility will be an issue, uh, whether everyone is comfortable with this. And, and, but it's no harm trying, like any other pedagogy. Uh, try first and then see whether it works, and what else can be fine-tuned, and then we try to improve from there. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically what I can sum up from what we have shared today. Back to the tell me. <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome, Kiman. Thank you for the uh, summing up. Yeah, awesome. Of course, uh, going back to, I think, uh, from from my view, is the uh, of course the uh, framing of the pedagogy again, um, space and technology. So which is the right blend? Okay, uh, we're saying about blended learning, how to blend, how do you, do you actually mix the right spice of the, and the right technology? Uh, maybe virtual reality doesn't work for you. So um, don't force it to work. <laughs> Use another tech. Uh, so, so I think that's, that's um, actually uh, the essence of that. Uh, kalau, uh, if you want to show something abstract, like in physics, kan? Uh, oh, I tak nampak lah dia punya, you know, uh, momentum dia, you know, like, or maybe in, in physics, kan? Uh, I cannot see the molecules. I think that one is is, is great lah if if you um you want to show something abstract uh, and it gives meaning so it's good if you just want to chat um in the virtual world um uh, roaming around uh, with no 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 learning aims i think that that will work but you have to frame you have to experience first uh digitally you have to try first so that's the caveat. You have to try first the world. Okay. Oh, macam mana I nak buat ni untuk learning eh? How do I, how do, I do, how do I manipulate the things there, uh, the objects there to make it uh, meaningful to my students? Then, uh, because you are the, uh, again, everybody's saying about uh, per sage on stage and dah tak ada dah sekarang kan. I'm moving to facilitator. But I, 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 uh, I like the word learning inspirer. How do you inspire learning? How do you inspire students to learn, actually? So you have to really design, though. you have to really think about it. Uh, masa you tengah main game tu pun tengok, macam mana nak main ya? game ni untuk ni? You know, like go into the game and play it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I can use this for this subject. Oh, this other uh, no, mathematical elements. Uh, maybe like Sims, Sims, kan? Uh, Sims, you you have the uh, business in your model, kan? Or you have to buy this land, buy this, kan? Dapat duit, profit. You can use that. Okay, everybody, buka Sims, in, uh, per download sekarang. Oh, well, my iPhone's good. Wow, I like it. My class lah. Come lah, let's play games. And then make it fun. It's okay. Some, kalau, kalau you ajar pakai buku text pun, theory, do you really think it works nowadays? Uh, something to think about lah. Uh, bagi buku tag, you baca daripada muka serat 1 sampai 20, you baca slide I ni, confirm dapat A. Okay, that's good, yeah. But that's, is that meaningful for their lives? So think about that lah. I think that's what I'm, I'm going to leave with, uh, leave you with is, is, is you know, um, which is the right blend um, and which technology is right. Is Metaverse right for you? It is, go it is coming. Sooner or later, it will come. 
So, but again, um, do uh, create content, curate content, which is uh, meaningful for you. So going towards that, um, uh, I think you'll have the right uh, metaverse uh, learning, uh, metaverse based learning. Uh, today we we kept it, uh, uh, Prof, Prof, we kept it for Prof Karim uh, coining it. <laughs> Since it's not here, so metaverse based learning. So um, is it right for you? Uh, we leave it back to you. Uh, think about uh, what we discussed today and um, hopefully everybody's uh, metaversing towards uh, inspirational, meaningful learning. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, USM. Uh, I think back to you, Puan. Okay. Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Uh, if you have one last question from the participants, anyone? Kod-kod lah ada one last question. Kalau tak ada, I think we will wrap up the session. Um, Okay, from CDAE, a very, very big thank you to the speakers, Mr. Chuakiman and also Dr. Hilmi, come moderator, Kejun. Thank you for the wonderful sharing this afternoon. Such fun with uh, virtual re reality, yeah. So, mungkin kita berjumpa lagi di masa-masa harapan, tak tahu lagi, insyaAllah. So, thank you also to our participants. Uh, don't forget to complete the feedback form as usual and we hope to see you in future webinars. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Mr. Chua Kiman and Dr. Hilmi. Ah, thank you. One last uh, request. Jom ambil gambar. Jom ambil gambar. Okay, jom ambil gambar. Boleh ke semua orang? Ah, kalau boleh yang video cam, come on. Let's, let's, let's have a picture, group photo. Metaverse ni, Metaverse. Tak nak jumpa ni, Metaverse kan? Kena nak ambil gambar. Okay, nanti kejap ya. Mm -hmm. Wow, great. Ni semua dekat uh, Penang ke semua ada yang distributed ni? Ah, oh, tu kena sangat tu tengah tu Irwan tu. Oh, oh, okay. Di mana mengarah pun sini ni. <laughs> alright, alright. Thank you. Alright, jom. Ambil gambar sekejap eh. Snap picture. Check snap. Pasal I punya ni ada timer sekarang. 3, 4, 3. Freestyle. 3, 2, 1. Lambat ni ada timer. I don't know what the time is. Anyway. Alright. Uh, nanti uh, urus dia ambil juga lah kan gambar. Alright. Thank you. Yeah. Tak tahu kenapa tiba-tiba kalau gambar je semua orang senyap. Senyum. Okay. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Thank Take you. care everyone. Take care. Bye. bye. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Lambat right, thank berpuasa. Lambat berpuasa week. juga. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Kimon, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody.